what's up guys? Dale Valor here from Modern Valor Dating. Listen, I was reading an article in BuzzFeed from an author named Michael Blackman, and the article was entitled, How Introverts Feel After a Year of Lockdown. And by and large, what that article was about was how people that are in lockdown, that are introverted, right? You know, it's been about a year or so, something like that, depending on where you live. And lockdown situations have been, you know, different from here to there and things like that. You know, he talked to a bunch of different people from all over the United States, right? And I know that we have guys that watch all over the world. Your lockdown protocol might be vastly different than here. You know, it, it just depends. So, but here's the thing, man. You know, he talked to all these people who consider themselves to be introverts and getting their take on, you know, you've been in your house, you haven't really been going out much. Has that been good for you? Has that been bad for you? By and large, what was really interesting that stood out to me was many of them were like, you know what? I kind of want to do social stuff. You know, like I'm, I'm kind of tired of being cooped up. I don't, in a normal world, I don't usually think about going to the bar or going to a club or something like that, but I kind of want to go, you know, because they've been cooped up for so long. And so what I wanted to do was I wanted to put this video together, you know, to talk to you guys that consider yourselves to be introverted and what that means in a dating context, especially coming out of lockdown. I kind of feel like we're in the home stretch. Many places are opening up and uh, bars and clubs are open and things like that. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to get with you guys and just kind of break down my thoughts on being an introvert and getting out there and doing game, talking to girls, all that kind of thing. So we're gonna hop into that right now. Let's get it. Hey guys, just wanted to take this quick time out just to remind you, if you're getting value out of this channel, and I know that you are, please subscribe, man, because you're only doing yourself a favor because we want to be able to get these videos to you as easily and make them as accessible as possible because I've heard so many times where guys will say, I wish I would have seen that earlier. I wish I would have known this when I was talking to this girl. And they could have known, but they missed out because why? They didn't subscribe to the channel. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. Share the video with people that you know need to see it. And leave a comment, man. If you want us to cover something, uh, a topic, or you have a question or something like that, always feel free to drop a comment because we're always willing to consider whatever, man. So, yeah. All right, we're going to hop back into the video. Let's go. Number one, people need to be social. But here's the thing about it, okay? I really truly believe that most people have a combination of both, extroversion and introversion. Very few people are 100% one or the other. There is some culmination between the two. Me, myself, I'm probably 80% extroverted, 20% introverted. Okay, I, I do enjoy my alone time and I like hanging out by myself and doing the things that I like to do without any kind of interference and things of that sort. So I get it. You know, like I, I understand that. I don't fall on the scale of somebody that's introverted. Okay, but now here's the thing about it. Most people, they feel the need to be social at least sometimes. There's times in their life where they really feel like they need to get out and talk to people and things like that because people are social animals, right? It's inevitable that you're gonna have to do that. So if you're gonna have to do that, why not do that the best way possible that you possibly can? Now, I'm not saying that you have to, uh, you know, be the life of the party or anything like that. But what I am saying is when you deal with people, do it the best way possible that you possibly can. Communicate who you are, your intrinsic values, the best way possible, man. You know, don't 
uh, go into a shell. And, and these are things that we're going to kind of cover in this video a little bit later. So stick with it and we're, we're going to go deep on that. All right. But here's the deal. You want to make sure that when you're communicating with people that you're doing it properly in a way that's attractive, in a way that people want to resonate with you. Okay. So I feel that's where a lot of people who call themselves introverts really um, cut themselves off at the knees is by not doing that. They're like, I'm introverted, so I'm just going to give short little one word answers and things like that. When you have to do it, you do it right. You get what I'm saying? All right, we're going to hop into number two. Let's get it. Number two, don't confuse comfort zone with introversion. I find so many people, especially online, man, when I'm reading through things like Facebook and Reddit and, and just different places where people communicate online, social media platforms, where they call themselves an introvert because they're uncomfortable being social. All right. Now, here's the thing about that. To me, you all right. So if you're introverted, okay, you're probably going to be a little uncomfortable sometimes being social where you just feel drained and exhausted by communicating with so many people. Okay. And I get that. That's just how some people are. And that's totally fine. If that's you, that's cool. But a lot of people, what they do is they're like, oh, well, I don't want to come across as, you know, not being very personable or social. So I'll just call myself an introvert. And they use that as a scapegoat to not go out there, stretch their comfort zone and be able to communicate who they are, be able to communicate that identity. You know, people want to get to know you. People want to understand you on some level. And that's why learning these communication skills are so important. So when the opportunity arises, you're able to go out there and do it without having a problem doing it. That doesn't mean you have to do it all the time. That just means you have to do it when the situation arises, right? So that's the thing, man. If you just feel uncomfortable and it's not a thing that's draining for you, it's just an uncomfortability factor, stretch your comfort zone, man. You know, I read these guys on Reddit where they're just like, well, no girl likes me, and but I don't ever talk to any girls. Well, that might be your problem, man. You don't talk to anybody. How do you expect anybody to get to know you or like you? Get out there and talk to some people. When you start, if you were an introvert and you start feeling drained, okay, cool. You know, but give yourself a number. You know, like maybe uh, you go out and talk to three girls one day and just see how you feel. Then maybe it's four. Then maybe it's five. Just see where your uh, baseline of energy is at before you feel exhausted with communicating with people, right? Now you know what that is. Now you know that number that you can go out there and do. All right, we're going to get into number three. Let's go. Number three, be who you are. Okay, what I mean by that is sometimes I read things online and I talk to people and they're like, well, you know, if I'm not super extroverted, if I'm not the life of the party, if I'm not the guy that goes around talking to everybody, nobody's going to find me attractive. That's not true, man. That is absolutely 100% not true. Here's the deal. Like we talked about in the last point, get out and talk to some people until you feel like you can't, then that's okay. All right. But the thing is, you don't have to be the life of the party. You just have to be able to communicate with people. That's it. You don't have to be the guy that like everyone's like, oh, wow, that guy's so adventurous and so fun and all that stuff. You don't have to be that guy. Be who you are, but just be able to communicate who you are. That best version of you. That's what you need to communicate. And so, look, if you don't feel like you're at your best, work on it. Work on those communication skills. Man, look, we've got tons of videos on this video channel about communication skills. Go watch them. Learn from it. Challenge yourself. Go out there and talk to people. That's what's going to be what separates you from the former you. Okay? So just get out there and do it, man. All right, we're going to hop into number four. Let's go. 
Number four, exercise that social muscle. All right, it's just like anything else, man. You know, you go to the gym, you work out. You know, maybe you could only bench 100 pounds. That's okay. Eventually, you're going to work up to 110. Then you're going to work up to 125. Eventually, 150, 200, whatever, right? Yeah, that's the same thing as being social. All right, you work up to whatever your limit is. See, what you can do is you can say, okay, look, you know, Friday and Saturday night, I'm going to go out and I'm going to go kick it with these girls. I'm going to go open these sets. I'm going to go start a conversation and have that conversation. And I'm going to push myself to go a little bit further than what I normally do. All right. That it's the same thing, man. You don't have to be perfect at it. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a professional. All you have to do is push yourself a little bit further each time. Now that comfort zone that we talked about earlier starts to grow. Okay, so right, you know, at the beginning you might be right here, but it's gonna grow out to here. Then it's gonna grow out to here, 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 right? And so that's the thing, man. Go out there and talk to people. Talk to the people that work at the venue. Talk to the bartenders. Talk to the girl that works at the mall, you know, and at whatever store. You know, just start talking to people and engaging with them. And just, okay, if you need to do it like this, where it's like, okay, Friday and Saturdays, that's what I'm going to do. Then the rest of the week is chill time. It's you time. I get it. That's fine. Do it that way. But at least start. You know, half the battle, man, is just getting there. You know, they say that about the gym, too. It's like, look, half the battle is just getting to the gym. If you can get to the gym, you'll do the rest, okay? So get out there, man. Just start doing it, communicating who you are, your interests, your qualities, everything that you bring to the table. And from there, that's when doors will start opening for you, all right? All right, we're going to get into number five. Let's get it. Number five, overthinking. You know, many guys that I talk to that are uh, introverted, all right, and I mean for real introverted, not just that they're uncomfortable talking to strangers. I mean for real introverted. One of the things that they really struggle with is overthinking. Am I doing this right? Am I doing this wrong? Is she going to be mad at me? Is she going to be upset? Am I, you know... Is she going to like me? Does she think I'm a loser? It, all that stuff. If that is you, okay, I'm talking to you directly. All right, here's the thing. If that's you, whenever you start having those thoughts in your head, that is the barometer to know that you need to actually go through and do it. Listen, I've done public speaking a million times in my life. I'm not the most articulate guy in the world, okay? I'm a little rough around the edges. Um, I've, you know, got a gravelly voice a little bit. And, you know, I'm just not the most articulate cat on the planet, all right? But here's the thing. I've done it a million times. And I still, to this day, I've been on a million stages, man. To this day, I get butterflies, Okay, before I'm about to start speaking, I feel a little nervous, all right? It was way worse early on, but as time went by, you start to kind of build a callus on that, just like your hands, you know? Like, when you start, like, uh, say you play guitar, you start building calluses on your fingers. It's the same thing, all right? You start to build a little bit of callus, but nonetheless, I still feel a little bit of anxiety. I still feel a little nervous, all right? But the thing is, when I feel that, that's my warning sign to know, to tell me this is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So use that. Instead of using that as, as something that's debilitating, use it as fuel. Like, okay, if I feel like that, you know, she may think I'm a loser, great, go up and approach. Okay, that's the thing. Whenever you start having those thoughts in your head, that's the thing telling you to go out there and make it happen, all right? So, yeah, man, just, you know, don't give in to those thoughts. Use them to your advantage. 
So listen guys, a little while back we did a video on identity and who you are. We go really deep on that because look man, it's so important for a person to know who they are. It's rare for a man to know who he is and what he wants. So what I want you to do is I want you to go check that video out. We go really deep on it and really start to learn who you are so you can communicate that to anybody that you're talking to, whether it's in with a girl, in a professional situation, you know, whatever the case might be, man, you're able to communicate everything that you bring to the table. So I will see you there.